Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. We finally have something to talk about. I've been sort of teasing to this now for about a week, week and a half of this possible pattern change. And now it finally looks like the confidence amongst the data is growing. So here's what I'm looking at right now. Pattern change sometime between 1022 and that may be when it starts and then kind of gradually cycles in through the 23rd, 24th. It may, there may be a second piece to this that rotates in beyond the 24th. We'll see, uh, but for now we'll focus on the first part and I do think the beneficiaries of all this will be the mountains. The high mountains, the high ski areas of Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, the Pacific Northwest, and Banff. I think temperatures will probably drop 15 to 20 degrees in a lot of these places once this pattern settles in. Maybe more, especially with overnight lows. I think some places could get down to zero, especially in Colorado during this event. Um, strong wind is going to be likely because there's a powerful jet stream that is going to blow in here with this thing, which is good. That's what we want. Let me show you what the current setup is here. So this is a water vapor satellite. So your oranges and reds represent your drier air. But the key to this is to recognize what the jet is doing right now. So here it is. It's pinching and kind of going up and around like this. Um, and so let me just mark the features and this will make a whole lot more sense. Giant low, another low coming on the backside. There may even be a low kind of spinning up in here. Um, and they're battling. They're battling what is essentially a traffic jam in the atmosphere. This big ridge of high pressure has been here for a long time. So you've got this low, you got that low, you got that low. All three of them will slowly erode and displace, dislodge this high pressure. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about with the pattern coming up. But those threes are those three lows are very important to what's going to happen down the road. I wrote an entire blog post on this this morning. If you don't subscribe to my blog, you really should. ChrisTomer.com talked about it. The first big mountain snow this season, and for many places, that's what this is going to be, especially across the lower 48 Intermountain West, um, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming. And, you know, this is what I was uh, writing about. The first significant snow of the season, there's your timeline. Talk about who's likely going to get it. Talk about the air temperature drop in the jet stream. I think we're going to see a lot of gusts between 40 and 80 above tree line um, in, in many places with this, scraping the ridge lines. And I'll definitely drill down on that type of forecast in the coming days once we get closer. I looked at the setup, um, and here's the pattern change. So... You see the blue area, the big dip in the jet, that's your lower pressures moving in, dislodging the big high, moving it back out to the Pacific. And so you can see what the pattern has done here. It's completely flipped across the United States because right now the lower pressures are on the East Coast. Now they're going to be on the West Coast by the time we get to the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and maybe beyond that as well. Um, the forecast, you can see that. And I'm going to show you these a little higher res because I've got these all programmed in. So let me just show you what this looks like. This is a this is the forecast radar and satellite on Sunday at about 10:15 in the morning. Um, you can see where the snow is and where the green is, and that's the rain. Um, there's good snow in Utah's Wasatch Front, the Tetons, up and around Big Sky. Some snow cycling out of um, Idaho. It would have come earlier than this in Idaho. And then it's all kind of sliding into Colorado at this point in northern New Mexico to some degree. Um, but the prime time in Colorado would be that Saturday night, Sunday, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night time frame in Colorado above 8,000 feet. Um, so that is the future radar. You know what? Let me show you this as well. This is the GFS opinion on the pressure pattern. And this is in the middle of the atmosphere. So the reds are going to be higher pressure. The blues would be lower. And let me take you into the event. Look at the big high that we're breaking down. Here comes the drop in the pressures across the west. You can see the blues and the greens. That's about two standard deviations below the 20-year norm or average, if you will. But this is fascinating. So this is the 22nd. And here's the morning of the 23rd right here. So this is Sunday. This is equivalent to the future radar I just showed you. Big drop in pressure, low pressure coming in, big uh, dip in the jet. But notice to the south as well, there are two um, other bowling balls or areas of lower pressure. Those could be tropical systems 
that get entrained in all of this. That's fascinating. And the one further south coming off of uh, Mexico and just south of the Baja is that could be a tropical storm or hurricane. Fascinating. Something to watch. And let's see what the GFS does beyond Sunday. Okay, so that's the main lobe. It slides through. GFS brings in a second shot, 27, 28. So the end of next week. Something to watch. It's so far out. Confidence is low at this point. But once you establish a pattern with deep, a deep drop in pressures, that's not out of the question. Let me show you what I'm thinking as far as numbers with this and of course these are very ballpark these would be totals between 10 17 and the night about 10 24 at about 11 at night um, so you can see the numbers we're talking 6 to 12 in a lot of places again this would be the biggest you know snow of the season so far obviously there are bigger ones to come but um, you can see the numbers in colorado a lot of 6 to 12s above 8,000. similar for the wasatch the tetons up around big sky uh, I think Banff does well in the Pacific Northwest at the highest elevations, the highest cascades and the highest volcanoes should do well one to two feet for a lot of those places with a nice sizable temperature drop. So that's the way it looks right now. This is exciting. We've got changes ahead. I'll keep things updated here this week and I always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.